Hello everyone, today we will learn how to convert a binary number to decimal number. So in the previous video we have learned already we have learned about how to convert decimal number to binary number. So in this video we will learn how to convert binary number to decimal number. So in the previous video also I have told that a decimal number is always represented by the base 10. Okay. It is always represented by the base 10. But the binary number is always represented by the base 2. Okay. And the binary number is all, always contains 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. It doesn't mean, I mean that 1, it contains only the digits 1 and 0. Okay. Always. And decimal number contains the digit from 0 to 9 it contains a digit from 0 to 9 this is the basic of decimal number okay and and the binary number contains only 1 and 0 so how we will convert let's know okay so so here i have taken this example of binary number which is to be converted into decimal number okay and so so here one one zero one zero one okay this is the number and two is your base okay likewise here ten is the base okay so let can let's convert it now what will you do in the first step we have to place the binary number from right hand side to left hand side okay like we have to put here 1 here 0 here again 1 okay according to this number we have to give. so first I have to again 1 then 0 then 1 again we have to put 0 as here is 0 then 1 okay again 1 okay this is the first step then in the second step you have to write the corresponding powers of 2 at 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 okay like this from right hand side to left hand side okay below each binary digit as for the position of the numbers so here the one step Okay, so first of all we have to write from 2, 2 to the power 0, okay, then 2 to the power 1 we have to write, then 2 to the power 2 we have to write, then 2 to the power 3 we have to write, 2 to the power 4 we have to write, then 2 to the power 5 we have to write, okay, till here is it clear, okay, very good, now we have to multiply each digit, okay, this digit of binary number starting from okay starting from right hand side towards the left hand side with the value of corresponding power of 2 okay it means i mean 2 to the power 0 you have to write the value then 2 to the power 0 is 1 because you should know one logic that any number to the power 0 is 1 okay now 2 to the power 1 is 2 okay 2 to the power 4 is i mean 2 to the power 2 is how much 4 2 to the power 3 is 8 2 to the power 4 is 16 2 to the power 5 is 32 okay for a better understanding you can do one thing you can you can put a line here okay you can write here that it is a binary number okay and in here you can write the powers okay you can here write down value okay then here is it clear now the fourth step is have to multiply this two okay which 
into value into binary number. You have to multiply this two, okay? So you can write here value into binary number, okay? You can put your line for your better understanding. So now one one ja one one ja one okay now two zero ja zero four one ja one eight zero ja zero sixteen one ja sixteen thirty two one ja how much thirty two till here is it clear now so this the step three completed. Now the fourth step, that is step four, is we have to add all the values together now. Okay, all the values together to get the number in decimal system. Okay, so you can write like this: thirty-two plus sixteen plus zero plus four plus zero plus one. Okay. Now after adding all these. We got the answer as fifty three. So, so the answer is what? Like you, you can write again one one. So you can, here you can write like this again one one zero one zero one to the power this two. Okay, which is the binary number. Now you can write the answer as fifty-three to the power ten. Yes, one thing. Let me make you know that here why we use ten as we are used to. Why do we do we use ten? Why? Because this is a decimal number. Yes or no? And I have already told that decimal numbers base is always ten. Okay. And yes, you may have problem about understanding these powers. Yes. What did you may have? You may. You might been thinking that what is the two to the power one, two to the power two, two to the power three? It means. The power two means two into two. Okay, means two we have to multiply for two times. If two to the power three, it means two we have to multiply for three times. So two into two into two. Okay, after multiplying, what the what answer we will got get? That is we call as value. Okay, so two to Two into two, four. Two into two into two is eight. Okay. And also, if till now you cannot understand, or you have your your math is weak, or your multiplication is weak, so what you can do for your first doing? Okay. I have a logic for that. What you can do? You can multiply two in first one. So two to the power zero is one. You got one. Okay, one. Now one into two. One into two is one into two is two. Now two into two. It is four. Now four into two. Eight. Eight into two. Sixteen. Sixteen into two. Thirty-two. So without doing also. Without multiplying two to the power five, two into two into two into two, we can use the logic. What is that? First one we have to find out. First one easily you can know that two to the power zero is one. After that you can multiply two, multiply two, multiply two till the last position. Okay, this is the logic what I told you for your clear understanding. So if you are having any doubt in this, you can ask me in the comment. properly if any doubt 
you can ask me in the comment box and box thanks for watching thank you and subscribe my channel if you like my videos